the Anne Bedell Highway. Over 1,300 kilometres of some of Australia's most rugged and isolated outback terrain. Join us as we cross one of Len Bedell's most famous highways, from corrugations to stunning campsites. Part 4. The Run to the Border We would like to take this moment to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land of which we travel and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. We would like to extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and their country. Oh, you do smell good. I do smell great. <laughs> Just come back from the, the showers and um, good. Something about a shower after four days just makes you appreciate it a little bit more. <laughs> no matter how trickly the water is or not so hot it is, it's good. It's not like burning like my normal water. Yes, yes. So, nah, just a little donkey shower. Takes a little bit of time to heat up, which we didn't allow for, so. Just had to stand there in the nut for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't check the water before you got <laughs> I was trying to conserve water. Get ready before you get in. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, it was good. Good little refresh, little hair wash. And uh, ready to start another day. It's probably... Uh, the phone watch is dead. Uh, I don't know what time like it is. Like 7.30, quarter to 8, something like that. And um, yeah, make a bit of coffee, have a bit of brekkie, pack up, and then we can start heading west again. So, um, uh, east, <laughs> we'll get that right. It's because everyone we're talking to is going it's west. Going west I know. So, literally, no one's going east. There's two groups camping here tonight. That one that had the car towed and their car that was on the flatbed that's left already. And then another group they're heading um, west too. So, mm. we'll head east and um, lap it up. Apparently there's a few more groups taking their time. Going east. So, going west. Yep. <laughs> but these guys passed, so. Yep. Checking with them. All right, coffee time. Coffee time. I need a coffee. Alrighty, all packed up here at El Kirka Roadhouse. We're just doing the final lap around, make sure we've got everything. We've already been under the bonnet. Um, check to make sure that everything was attached. All the lights are still on, areas are still screwed up. Everything's all ticking away pretty good. So, yeah, let's head, head, head where are we heading? Yes, east. East. That, but, that, east. Let's head east. Let's Sounds east. good. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's do it.
Go on, where are we? Small Salt Lake, centre map. There's a little track that headed off to the right hand side. That's cool. Good warm. Cool story. Yeah. Um, has some buttons on. But, but, banana. Banana. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, I don't, yeah, I can't tell you where we are. We're, I don't know. 30 k's from where we were. <laughs> yeah, and we've seen 10 camels since. Yeah, we saw that big group yeah. and then they darted off the road and then we saw two just on their lonesome. Yeah. And then they just were like, oh. And they didn't follow the road, which is very weird. Yeah, uh, usually they do, but we'll take that. We've had some experiences of just chasing camels for 40 k's. And I don't really want to do that. <laughs> no. But the track sort of... Corrugated, hard corrugated, corrugated in sections and sandy corrugated in other sections. Mm. The sandy corrugation is way more fun. Yeah, I agree. Um, at least you can find some soft sand, you know, that have been pushed out by the tyres and sort of drive on that, sort of cushions you blow a bit. But mm. yeah, it's all part of the fun, I suppose. But yeah. Yeah. We'll keep plugging along. It's not quite morning tea time. Although you've had your morning tea, so. Right. I had a corn cracker thing that had been dropped out the car about nine times <laughs> just to see if they were good. <laughs> you just want to eat them to get rid of them. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a small salt lake. Through the drone up. Not much out here. Yeah. Nope.
I'm hungry. <laughs> Must be lunchtime then. <laughs> so we just pulled over uh, on the side of the road, found a little spot, and um, making lunch. And what are we having? We are having, uh, hang on, <laughs> stew jaffles. Lamb casserole or lamb stew jaffles. Oh, yum. So good. So we're just heating, preheating the, the casserole and then we'll um, preheat the, the jaff line because that's the tip to a no stick jaffle. Preheat it. Preheat your jaff line and butter your bread. And butter your bread. Butter your bread. Preheat your jaff line. I've Definitely. never, never had a lamb stew oh, or any stew jaffle before. So good. I'm very excited. The best. <laughs> it's the best. It was good the other night, so. Do you want to take that off? Sizzling, might need a stir. Um, the stew was good the other night, so it can only get better a couple of days after. Um, come from the other way, yeah. So, yeah, we'll show you what they look like because they're going to be delicious. Um, we pumped out probably, I say pumped out, we didn't really pump it out, pump it out but <laughs> 50, 60 k's this morning. Um, Took a couple of details off that salt lake um, and there was a track off to Wanna Lakes, but it was pretty disused and we got past and anyway, we decided not to go all the way because um, the track that we were on was taking us all the way out further on than, yeah, so we just thought, nah, hadn't been used for a while, like it was pretty overgrown um, and there wasn't much evidence of traffic, so we thought we we're by ourselves, we'd take it the smart approach and we'll turn around and come back and we found a spot for lunch so yeah and then we'll plot on towards the border we're not sure if we camp this side or that side of the border to be honest and um, we'll just see how we go so but first lunch When working with a hot jaffa line, it should only take three to four minutes for each side of your jaffa to become golden brown. Regular turning and checking is a must. Oh, look at these, these are awesome. Yum. Oh, very good. They look so good. Yum, oh, <laughs> keen as. That's what you mean. There's a tip, get your jaffa line hot first, then do your cooking and trim off your crust of your bread last, like after they're finished. It's, it's that easy. It's not hard at all. Okay, can you eat them now? <laughs> we can eat them now. <laughs>
We're at the border. Jess is in there saying I'm in WA. And that's the sign. So Lenny's sign that depicts a borderline. And uh, not only does it separate South Australia from, uh, from WA, it separates the Spinifex country from the Marin, uh, Maralinga Tarucha people. So um, yeah, so this is where another permit kicks in, um, which you need to make sure you do because some big fines are caught out here without, without your permit. So um, originally, for a long time, the section we're moving into was always from as a kid coming through, was the unnamed conservation park. But now it's Mumgari, I believe it is. The Mumgari Conservation Park. So it finally has a name. It's probably been named for 10, 10 or so years, but previous to that, it was the unnamed conservation park for a good long time. So yeah, there you go. There's a visitor book here. We'll sign that. And then we're gonna go make camp um, for a couple of k's um, east of the border. Uh, we found a couple of spots and we hummed and hard and hummed and hard and then yeah and then all of a sudden we're here so um, looks like some people have camped here that's yeah no dramas too but we're just going to go find a nice nice spot a couple of k's down the road um, and do that so it's been a good day we've sort of taken the last few k's um, a bit slower um, just to give the car a bit of a break and Suss out a few little knocks and squeaks that we're starting to hear, but um, otherwise, not, it's not so bad, so. But there you go. All right, we'll get Jess on the book and we'll mosey on off, eh? Beauty. Well, that's a wrap on this one guys thanks heaps for tuning in if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe button it goes a long way to helping us out to stay up to date with us make sure to hit us up on the socials on instagram and facebook be sure to jump over to our website and check out everything wandering oz and grab yourself some wandering oz merch thanks again for joining us guys we'll see you next time as we continue the adventure catch ya, catch ya.